Okay, so what I've done here is I've taken the original Mind Cuber by David Gilday, and I've created my own version and put it on wheels. So it can drive around while solving the Rubik's Cube. Um, I built this with two other people uh, in STEM class. So I'm going to show you right now. This is the remote control that I have to drive it around. Not to solve it, but to drive it around. It writes itself a program based on the scanning that it was doing at the beginning of the video. So I'll show you now. Uh, how it drives. It drives pretty fast. It's it's a decent speed considering how big it is. Uh, it's about, it's close to double the size of the original Mind Cuber. But, last time I did this, uh, I forgot to check before the video and my stand for the Rubik's Cube fell out halfway through, but, uh, it normally doesn't have different uh, errors like that. This robot is originally built using the Mindstorms NXT, um, but I've put an EV3 on it so that I can control it from an app, which you cannot do with the NXT, I believe. So. Yeah, I didn't have to alter the program or anything. I just kept it completely the same. I had to work around the whole Rubik's Cube solver, the Mind Cube. I had to work around it so that nothing got messed up, but I think it was worth it. What do you think? Well, you can't answer this. So. Can do donuts. Uh, and I said before in my previous video, but I always try to mess it up and it never works. It always solves it perfectly every time. Uh, so yeah, this is my modification of the Mind Cuber by David Gilday. Sweet. So. Bye.